Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans. What we do around here, what we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. And um, this week's been a little crazy. Um, a lot going on with uh, me and the uh, clients. And if you are looking for coaching, relationship, business, habit change, all that good stuff would love to be of assistance to you in that way. Keep you um, on a good track for the second half of 2022 and beyond and hopefully make something good happen for your benefit. Anyway, uh, this is the continuation of various other interesting things. And so uh, kind of one of the things to look at is kind of the ADD mindset. If you are dealing with attention deficit and or... Um, just mindset that's limiting your beliefs would love to be of assistance to you. Breaking the pattern of any of these can be important to you. It's a two-part series and so important to uh, kind of look at that. Please reach out at um, about me section of the YouTube page or on the at PO Perception Twitter account. Either one going to get you in contact with me or a member of my team. We can make something happen. From there, the first thing we want to look at is kind of things ADD or ADHD, anxiety takes away from your life. It kind of takes away from your um, ability to focus, takes away from your ability to feel in control of your life on a consistent basis. And so when we lack life control, we also lack the ability to continue going in a good direction. Um, you know, kind of getting uh, getting uh, hyper-focused and getting uh, lack of focus or almost absence of focus can be super challenging for a number of reasons. The next thing is boredom becomes another aspect of things in a way to kind of look at things from a new perspective. That is to say, when we become bored, we, we become more driven towards ADD, ADHD, because we are looking for something to spark us, that hyperactivity, that connectivity in a way that's going to lead us to, um, you know, something new, something important can often be an overwhelming thing because it's constantly changing and the constant change makes it hard to commit emotionally, mentally, spiritually to whatever it is we're trying to to um, focus upon the lack of attention that we give to things often leads us to feel like we can't uh, accomplish virtually anything or anything on a consistent basis. And so the lack of accomplishment causes us to doubt ourselves. The self-doubt then kind of falls into or, um, you know, kind of wanders into a feeling of anxiety, frustration, anger, angst, and everything that goes beyond there. The lack of attention to those things ultimately causes us to forget. Forgetfulness is another key aspect of that uh, mindset, and we begin to get forgetful as it relates to making decisions in a meaningful, masterful way. And so when we begin to understand the value of remembering how to you know, connect things on a deeper level and or make a a smart decision or decisions that are toward intelligence in a good manner, it is important to realize that forgetfulness can be a sign of our mind not working well, especially if the mind is flittering and fluttering between multiple aspects of things that we need to pay attention to, we need to focus upon, and ultimately the connection to begin to understand the value of making longer-term decisions in a good and meaningful way. And so when we begin to understand the value of making every moment count, making every moment matter, we then also begin to understand the value of identifying that which ultimately doesn't lead us where we want to go. And that can be a major force when we are uh, kind of off base and or making decisions from an emotional core that isn't going to lead us where we want to end up land or get to. Uh, without having focus, we also then begin to um, kind of feel like our life is not going in a 
in a resolved place. That is a place where we're going to get to our next goal or reach our next aspiration. Having the feeling that we can make progress is essential to actually following through on the progress we are trying to make. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.